Oh, it was great. You know, it was, uh, the guys were excited. There was good energy. Uh, I thought they were really focused, and, and the, the, you know, the tempo was real, uh, real good for the offense first day. For with the quarterbacks, obviously you've been getting to know them in the meeting room and stuff like that, but to actually be on the field with them and watch them throw the ball and stuff, uh, what was that like? Yeah, it was nice. You know, finally being able to be out on the field, see those guys throw. Uh, you know, see how they competed, see how well they, they knew the offense and uh, understood what was going on. And I was impressed. You know, I, I think we're very fortunate to have a group of quarterbacks that has you know, had some experience, mm -hmm. uh, know the offense, you know, can go out there and play fast, uh, you know, and, and direct the offense. Now, now that you've had time to get to know these guys and maybe watch some tape, uh, I, we'll start with Brett. What, what, what has stood out to you about, about Brett Rippon? Well, obviously, he's a great leader. Uh, you know, the guys rally around him. Uh, he's got a good, strong arm for, for being a younger guy. Um, you know, he's got good feet. Uh, he, he understands the offense. And, you know, what I've noticed really with Brett, uh, you know, with, with limited on the field action with, you know, as far as what I've seen him, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he's always in there on time. He's always early. He's always coming to, to watch film. You know, I think his knowledge of the game for being a freshman is, is – Pretty impressive, mm -hmm. um, and that's just really what stuck out. You know his work ethic, you know how he handles the day to day, and uh, you know what he, you know what he puts uh, puts forward in the preparation. How's he handling the getting pushed again by Finley and, and knowing that he played and did well first team All Mountain West last year? But mm -hmm. you know obviously Finley won the job originally, and you guys are giving him a chance too. How's Brett handling kind of you know the, the competition and part of it? Yeah, uh, Brett's handling really great. You know so is Finley. You know, they're they're both uh, battling and having a good time with it. Obviously, they can only control what they control, and, and that's uh, you know focusing on their attitude and their energy and their effort that they come out to with practice. And, uh, and I thought they both done a great job with that. You know, everybody wants reps. You know, I want reps. Can I get out there? I'd like some reps too. You know, but uh, you know, obviously, you got to do a good job on the sideline of getting mental reps and getting as much as you can out of practice. So. Really, as a coach, that's what I'm looking for. And, and as things are going on, it may not be just focusing on the guy that's in, but how are those guys handling on the sidelines? You know, are they getting those mental reps? Are they uh, are they paying attention and you know, knowing know what's going on? And I think both of them are handling great. Have you seen uh, Ryan come back from injury and, and handle, you know, losing the starting gig? And I mean, he's just kind of had some adversity throughout his time here at Boise State. I don't know if you're completely caught up to speed on all of it, but uh, yeah, how, is, how has he handled this whole situation? I sure. suppose. You know, it, it is a tough situation. You know, I mean, uh, with, with, you know, what Finley's had, a bunch of different offensive coordinators, quarterback coaches, you know, and kind of uh, having to, to deal with that. I understand there's some frustration there. And my biggest thing with him was, hey, let's, Let's make sure we're, we're handling little things. You know, we're, we're positive in what we do, good body language, okay? and, and then just preparing for success. And that's, you know, again, going back to control what you can control and, and not worry about the things that you can't. So, um, you know, yes, it's, it's been a tough situation. It's been a tough run. But um, I think the way he's handled it and the communication that we've had has been awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with him and that whole group uh, a lot more. I know it's only the, the first day of practice and you know there's a lot of stuff to process still, but are there any areas that really stick out that you're trying to get addressed this spring offensively? Um, oh, offensively or quarterback-wise? Offensively, sorry. Well, you know, again, offensively, I'm still trying to get a hold of everything too. So, um, you know, I, I thought today went really well and they handled the operation of things. They were playing with tempo, they were crisp in and out of drills. Um, so, you know, again, I was really happy with all of that. Um, you know, I think Offensively, we're, we're looking to be as crisp and as fast as we can. And, uh, you know, just we'll get a better feel as we're looking through film, you know, in the next few days early on to see. You know, obviously, we've got our early goals, and, and uh, each position has got their goals and objectives. But uh, truly seeing how it all flows and, and uh, where we need to go with some of our corrections. Person wise, where would you want to see your guys make the most growth during spring practice? You know, early on, I've been hitting just a lot of fundamental footwork balance type stuff. Um, you know, I, I do feel like they've got a pretty good uh, feel for the offense and, and uh, the operational piece. I think they can come a long ways with, you know, their footwork, where their balance is, their, their fundamentals, and, uh, you know, being a little bit sharper and crisper with their movements. Harson says when, when he first hi, when, he, when he hired you, first brought you in here, he kind of said that he wanted, he had said, what are, you know, five things that, you know, they're crazy for not having or whatever. Were those things easy to think of, or was it, you know, did you have to, you know, ponder a little bit about what you really wanted to bring here? Um, you know, I think what we do here offensively is awesome. 
You know, we play with good tempo, we mix the tempo up, we're using different personnel, different formations, different movements and shifts. And so, you know, that's tough on a defense. Um, and if there are a few little things that I can bring, you know, from that, you know, Eastern offense or what I'm used to, um, maybe in the past game or empty sets or, you know, open type stuff, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, you know, through spring and see how uh, that applies to what we already do. Uh, and, and, you know, again, with me being more comfortable with the offense, you know, through spring, um, we'll see how, uh, you know, either that quick game or that empty stuff or, uh, you know, some of the things you saw with the Eastern Washington offense develops. Does that excite you? Does it mean the potential that, that, that you could be able to fold that into an offense that's already pretty good? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're always looking to, to be better, right? You know, there's always things we can be better at. Um, you know, and, and seeing what defenses do to us. And a lot of it will be game plan type stuff. So once we get into the fall, we're seeing what defenses are doing against us and, and then being able to kind of tweak things and say, hey, why don't we get to this? Or, hey, we're seeing this on film. Let's, let's make an adjustment here. So um, a lot of it won't be full, you know, play type stuff. It'll, it'll be tweaks off of what we already have. But for being a co-offensive coordinator, is there anything different than, than what you're used to? It's just a different title. Um, I mean, obviously, it's it's a lot different being in a new program and uh, adjusting to the different styles. Uh, you, know, I'm, you know, practice styles are different, meeting styles are different. Uh, so I'm I'm really just trying to adjust to that, get into a get into a groove. And uh, but overall, I mean, coaching quarterbacks, I, I just feel, feel very comfortable doing. And uh, I think the the offensive staff has has been awesome, and uh, it'll be fun working with with everybody. And you know, once we get into fall and our preparing for you know, those first few games. Uh, you know, it'll be a collaborative effort and um, putting together a successful game. I, I, I jumped in late, but how was the first practice for you? Oh, it was great. You know, I had a, had a, had a blast with it. You know, and again, I was impressed with the, the tempo that we played out in the Christmas. Um, we in practice one in the spring. You know, there, there wasn't a whole lot of miscues. Um, so, but again, we'll watch, watch through the film and, and evaluate as coaches. And, see what we need to make corrections on. And the nice thing is we have practice every other day, so we have time to you know, really be thorough in our evaluations and, uh, and critiques of all the things that we run. It seemed like you were pretty you know, impressed with what Brett was able to do as a true freshman. Um, I guess now, what, what, was, what was it that really stood out to you? And also, you know, if there's anything that really kind of stood out that you want to see you know, him personally try to step up this spring? Yeah, I mean, you know, being a young quarterback, uh, and again, I'm impressed with where he's at mentally. That, that stuck out for sure. His work ethic, his his day to day process was it, it has been awesome. Uh, it's obviously a fun guy to work with. Uh, he's going to be working a lot of fundamentals, footwork, um, you know, getting the ball out quicker. That's one of the things we've been talking about. You know, a little more fluid with his delivery, um, being more accurate with his throws because of his you know balance and, and what he's doing fundamentally. So that'll be the main. Uh, early on, at least, and then as we get deeper, deeper into our installs, um, then I'm sure it'll be a, a, you know, more X's and O's and stuff too. So.